Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna sort out my work slash music room. As you can tell from the last video and the current state of my background, I have a lot of work to do. So the plan is I'm going to go straight into a time lapse. Thank you, dog. Uh, I'm gonna clean up this room, get everything into position. So essentially uh, move the 3D printer and drawers and stuff all the way over to the corner, make sure that my desk is moved over and given enough room and then I can start building the desk setup and uh, hopefully being able to record music again by the end of the weekend. So uh, let's crack on, shall we? I have to say as well, I hope the, uh, the camera is actually all right. I think it's on its way out. It's an old Sony WX thingy that I'm using. I got it a long time ago. Uh, the last video I had some frame stutters in the darkness and yeah, I think this camera is uh, getting close to being done. I don't have any others other than GoPros though, so I have to <laughs> figure out what I'm gonna do with the camera in the future, but anyways. lapse was running out or the battery on the time lapse sorry so I stopped that the only thing I really did was take apart the desk and moved it slightly so everything should be out cleared and out of the way and sort of where it's going to be next problem is I need ways I need a way <laughs> to actually mount the the desk so that you know it's got legs basically I need legs, so uh, I'm going to get onto screw fix and order those. So that's everything I think I need to get this at least set up. Uh, we'll find out. So all. The only other things I really need is my trusty impact driver, uh, some screws, and uh, yeah, let's crack on. I genuinely don't know if this is gonna work. Like I haven't built a desk before. I'm just sort of gonna put some screws in and find out. Whilst I'm down here and about to screw everything in, so I've got a bunch of screws that I can use. Um, I initially thought I'd go with uh, these eight by ones. Yeah, so these eight by ones, and uh, they do, fit through obviously it's quite nice uh, i might need to round it out a bit when it attaches don't know how that's going to work uh but i didn't feel like that had enough purchase on oh how am i going to do this so uh if i use these ones they would go in a decent way there we go but i don't know i wanted a bit more security so uh, what I decided is I have the other slightly bigger screws, one and a quarter. Uh, and what they've got, these have as well, is they have like a smooth top. So the screw will never, once it's gone in, like the top bit will always be smooth and always, uh, it should always be easy enough to get in. So it should, if my physics is right, act as more of a clamping force. So as you drive in, so you've got a lot more purchase and uh, it will cause the wood and the leg or the furniture leg to actually clamp together rather than if a thread catches on the metal then thread it together if that makes sense. I'm probably not explaining it but either way I'm going to use these screws they look like they have a bit more purchase on the, uh, on the wood so I'm going to use them. problem 
with uh, trying to use tools, I guess. The impact driver is too big, even though it's the smallest fucking thing I have to drive it in. Like the leg gets in the way, so I'm gonna have to drive it in manually. Okay, the desk is in and in a position where I'm sort of happy. It is a bit wobbly, like... It's only got four legs that aren't braced. I will bind it into this desk, I think. So underneath I'll probably put maybe ugh, like some binding. Uh, ooh, there we go, some binding along here so that it ties it in properly. So then the stability of both of the desks Oh shit, my mic came off. So that the uh, stability of both of the desks are tied together. I could also do the same on the other side into the chest of drawers. Um, I'm not precious about the drawers or making holes in them. So uh, yeah, that's that. The rest is probably just gonna be another time-lapse setup. And yeah, that's how to make a really dodgy desk. Too bad again a bit unstable like it does move um, gonna have to latch it onto the other things but all in all it, it's not looking too bad like the office my work area is set up and I think that's the most important thing because uh, got a you know before I can do hobbies I've got to work so I can live so the office area is done uh, I'm gonna need to <laughs> can, I'm not sure if you can see uh, is this camera going to get low enough? The power situation is not ideal. Let me just flip this around. Yeah, I'm going to have to sort that out. Cable management will come later as I get, obviously I need, I need to get a different power bank for it um, or adapter because I like to have everything surge protected at the very least. Um, be nice if I could get a UPS, but really fucking expensive. So that's a no go. I think that will be it for today. Tomorrow I'm going to tackle the music desk. Uh, not sure how I'm going to do it yet because, well, quite, frank, quite frankly, I've got a M1 Pro MacBook, which was a bit of an impulse purchase, but I had a, a bit of spare cash and the 
my old MacBook Pro was dying on me and I needed to edit videos and blah, 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 blah. Essentially, I have that. I don't know if I'm going to transition to it to you for, for music just yet because the, the iMac is still working and I really like the screen. Like the iMac screen is really fucking good. The problem is Apple make it really difficult for you to use it as a second monitor. So I don't want to shill out loads of money to have it on all the time, but as a second monitor using like lunar display. So I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I don't want to destroy the thing to put a converter board onto it to make it a, essentially a studio display. So I really don't know. Um, put your feedback down below, but I will see you in the next one when I finish the studio or at least start the studio setup because like I got to put up acoustic treatment and I mean, that's a slab, but it's not going to stop the sound going through uh, and I've got to put up my shelves. I've got a lot to do, so I'll see you in the next one.